I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile? Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make you fine, but I. Hi, friends. Welcome to another day. We are one more day closer to going on vacation, but we are not quite there yet. And today is a cold, rainy day, and so it makes me want to be on a beach even more. <laughs> so we are close, but not close enough. We are not leaving. We're not leaving tomorrow. But we are going to do something tomorrow because of our trip. Um, both Ashley and Kaylee will celebrate their birthdays while we are gone and unfortunately we will not even be with Kaylee on her birthday and it is the first time ever that I have not been with my kids on their birthday like ever um, in fact let me just pull over here one one second and I will tell you about one other time I I didn't actually like miss Kaylee's birthday but I need to answer the phone and um, pull over here hang on all right well I'm gonna come back to story about Kaylee here in just a second and I'll fill you in on Jason and his situation going on right now um, I don't know if any of you are this have this kind of stuff happen to you or if we're pretty unique <laughs> I don't think there's a single vacation we've ever taken, whether it's a Hawaii vacation or even just a road trip to see my family. I don't think there's a single vacation that we've gone on that something has not gone wrong at our business. Not even just like home life, tires, car breaking down, you know, like not even just that stuff, but something always happens at our business either right before we leave or the day after we leave and are on an island. <laughs> And there's nothing we can do about it. We've had like a complete snowstorm the day after we've gotten to Hawaii. Uh, this is now the second time that our computers have gone kaput, uh, which is what is happening today. The power was out this morning when Jason got to work. Might have gone out when he got there. Um, so the computer in the front, the register computer does not work, but his computer in the back does. So he has computer tech support coming out. It's not as easy when you are your own business and you just pay a computer company to do your software. So they're probably two and a half hours out from coming to help him get his computer booted. Um, because the power was out for so long this morning, probably out for two hours or so of his open business hours, um, that the entire complex has closed their stores and they're not even opening them even though the power is up and so there's no traffic he lives he works in a little shopping center and so if there's no stores open around him people aren't they're, they're not coming <laughs> he's opened his doors um just in case people came in and he did help a few customers but now that the computers have gone down he can't help the customers he can't actually like sell them anything he can't do anything with them so he's locked the doors back up and he is trying to get computer work done in the back waiting for computer tech support to call him or come in or both um, so he's really really stressed I think he feels better but I think he still worries that he's going to feel worse he got a good night's sleep last night um, we were all very careful not to wake him up and let him just go to bed I think he went to bed at like 8 30 and so I, he's just gonna drink a lot of water today. I told him like I'm not trying to be your mother But like you got to stay on top of it with your throat and your hydration and and whatnot so that you don't get worse If you are getting sick, so I feel bad that he um, Goes through this kind of stress. It's what makes him nervous every time I talk about wanting to go on a vacation even though this trip itself is like not something I planned it was you know obviously an opportunity for Ashley but this is why he gets really really stressed you guys will never see it um you're like we will never bring that part to our channel um he can if he wants to but I you know you'll never see him in those moments um and so just want you to know that it takes a lot for him to be able to go and and step away from the business you know and all we've always we've also had like employee problems where we this one almost always happens where we need to fire someone <laughs> <laughs> but we can't because we need to go on vacation and then they get fired when we get home that is often the case <laughs> it's the life of owning a business I guess um so we'll see if that happens so going back to Kaylee the only other time I technically 
didn't miss her birthday, but didn't get to celebrate it in the true way that I wanted to was when Ashley was born. So you know that they are only two days apart. And when I got home from the hospital from having Ashley, it was Kaylee's birthday. And I wanted to make sure I was home for her birthday. So we were like, we have to leave the hospital. Everything is good. Even though my doctor wanted to keep Ashley in the hospital for one extra day and allow me an extra day in the hospital to recover. Um, and that would have been a good idea because of what happened as soon as I got home from the hospital. I got home, I took a shower, my mom and my sister were here um, visiting to help take care of the kids. And, um, and we had, they had gotten balloons for Kaylee. I had all of her birthday presents prepped and we were all ready to go and it was gonna be wonderful. And then I went and took Ashley to a post-op, like post, you know, day three, day two um, pediatrician appointment at an odd, like a side office not my actual pediatrician, but her general practice um, office. And instantly they were like, her bilirubin levels are awful. Um, she has potential of needing to have surgery. If I do anything to help her right now, AKA give her IVs, then we will have to take her in an ambulance. And I don't know that you want to do that. So we need you to put the baby back in her car seat and rush her over to Children's Hospital. So that is how Ashley spent Kaylee's birthday. <laughs> So I literally went from the pediatrician's office to Children's Hospital with, with Ashley and luckily my mom and my sister and Jason eventually were back at home with Kaylee and Abby um, on her birthday and they were able to celebrate her birthday with her um, and then Jason met me at the hospital and we spent the next couple days with Ashley in the hospital um, dealing with her Billy Rubin levels. So. We've had, that's the only other time where we haven't been together for one of the kids' birthdays. So I do feel bad, um, but Kaylee understands and we're gonna meet back up just a few days after her birthday in Hawaii. So I think we're gonna make it up to her. We're gonna take her to dinner, wherever she wants to go to on the island. Um, Ashley can get um, her birthday dinner location of choice um, if she wants to, or she can just choose somewhere to go for dessert. I don't care. Um, and funny enough, Chelsea already knows where she wants to go to for her birthday when we get home. So, um, but anyway, it, it, all of that to be said, that was a little roundabout way of saying it, because we're celebrating tomorrow instead, um, I am going to get, sorry, there's a truck like in the middle of the road. Um, and yes, I'm gonna put my camera down. But I, we're not gonna worry about birthday cakes, um, but I am, going to go get their donuts. They have requested apple fritters for Kaylee. And everyone likes apple fritters, so we get everyone an apple fritter for Kaylee's birthday, which I'm gonna put out in the morning. Normally everyone gets donuts for their birthday in the mornings, but because we are doing two for one, we're gonna do apple fritters in the morning, and then we're gonna do Ashley's donuts for dessert after whatever dinner we have tomorrow night. I don't even know. I should find out what dinner they want to have. Um, I don't think we're gonna have time to go out to dinner because I also have book club. So it's kind of a busy night, but I just invited Jason's dad to come over um, and celebrate with us and he can give them his gifts as well. And then we'll all be good to go. So let's go find donuts and just start pouring rain. I was kind of hoping to get, I probably would have made it to the first door. <laughs> had I not done all this talking. So let's go find apple fritters. Yeah, can I get a box of the spring mini? One box of the spring, okay. That's it, thank you. Yeah, I get that on the window. sitting in a parking lot waiting because I knew I was gonna get one of three packages any minute and I knew if I went home it would come and be delivered at the post office um, 
the second I got home. <laughs> so I'm just kind of waiting. The other one, the other package doesn't have an actual like delivery date, um, but it will probably be delivered as soon as I get home, even though it doesn't have today's date on it. <laughs> um, oh, I should have pulled out quicker. I saw that bus coming. Now I have to sit here for a second anyway. Um, but I know who this package is from. It's from one of you, I believe. And I also have a package coming from Amazon. I think it's being delivered at home. And then I ordered a few things off of the TikTok shop, um, but I had it sent to my PO box in case it was delivered after we left. I didn't want to have to have Kaylee worry about whether she got the package or not. And so I sent it to our PO box. Um, and that's the third one that I'm kind of waiting on. That doesn't give me an actual like delivery date. It said it could be here today, but it's not giving an updated as of the last location. So I'm gonna go over to the PO box. We'll see which one is there, even though I know which one it is. We'll see if maybe I have two. Um, and then we'll go home and find the third one, hopefully. Just gonna sit here and wait for this little bus. I don't have my keys on me. I have everything on me all the time, normally. But I started leaving all of my keys because I don't need keys anymore because of this car. And I don't have a car, you know, garage door opener and I don't go in the front door. So I left all my keys at home. So that Abby has access to my key fob um, for Costco gas. So it has my PO box key on it. So I likely will go home wait an hour, come back with Ashley well, she, when we go to cheer, and um, we'll come early to cheer, and we'll come back, back to the P.O. box. So I guess I'm going home, and now I'm in the wrong lane. Fantastic. Made it back to the post office with this one. Should we go see what we're getting? It's actually for you, so. It is? Yeah, for you girls. Oh. It's likely not in here. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, okay, what number? 42, 43 actually. We've acquired the package. Now we gotta go see if we have something to cut it open. <laughs> we'll see. It's okay, it's a P.O. box. They have my P.O. box. Oh, but her address, you're right. Okay, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> she knows us, little ones for the plane. Oh, Happy Easter. Well, hang on. Gum. Gum. Here, we'll uh, open Dana. it. Hang on. Hang on. Let's, what else is in there? What's in the box? We'll go through this. Oh, oh guys. moon pies. Does she know dad? Yeah, that's dad. Oh, more. moon pie, moon pie. Goldfish. Okay. That is for any of you. Okay. What else? These are mine. Okay. Well, mine. come on. Pull them out. Hurry. The battery's about to die. Cheese it. Okay. Uh, and something. Does it say a name on it or just? Oh, how cute! Socks. Oh, it's socks for all of us, or all of you. Fluffy socks. Fluffy socks. That's cute for all of you. And then you can wear little Easter socks on the plane. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then this looks like some these little. Uh, what are they? Little like chocolate. Oh, little Oreos. Okay. The perfect little airplane size. Oh, that's a tough one. Who's gonna? No, that be like a it'll family. probably be dad, but that looks yum. I don't know. Yeah, I love those. Oh, and high shoes to get us ready for Hawaii. And so oh, cute. just a cute little Easter eggs. Yeah, that's so cute. Okay, the card is hard to <laughs> it's attached to the box. We should have done this first, but hi, yeah. oh, funny. I just can't wait to say hi. Dana, Jason, Kaylee, Abby, Ashley, plus Jacob. Aww. I'm hoping that your Easter is super ha is a super happy day. The Easter Bunny from the East Coast is ho hopping by to wish you all a very happy Easter, happy birthday to um, all celebrating a birthday. Here are some treats to share. A on your long on your long plane ride to Japan plus Kauai. Hope you all enjoy. Hopefully, this package. This package gets to you before your. I can't read, Krista, Before you're there. Trip. trip. If you go by Kauai Coffee Company, could you pick up a, a vanilla, vanilla macadamia, 
I will Venmo you the money. <laughs> hope, you, hope you get to from your friend. Patty. Well, that was just very sweet. Okay, so we gotta put it all back in the box and rush to cheer. We have Can just I enough the time. Goldfish? No, it is for the plane. Someone did pack snacks for cheer, so now she wants these ones. Because I knew we were going to cheer. <laughs> no, these Fine, are not. I'll have a donut. From where? Krispy Kreme. That's where we're going now. No, we're not. We're going to cheer. What are we gonna do for my birthday? Tomorrow. I don't know. All right, Ashley's in cheer. I am gonna go work out, but I wanted to chat just for a second. Trying to, I don't think it really, it bothers me. There's a comment that was made the other day. As women, and most of the people who watch my channel were women, right? And we all, in different points in our life, struggle with working out, struggle with weight, struggle with all the above, correct? So I don't understand why you would want to put someone down and tell them they're not doing well, and tell them they're lying, and tell them any of that. I don't I don't understand that, number one. Number two, I don't tell you every time I work out, but I also have been pretty honest with the fact that I have not done well this winter. Pretty sure I've been pretty honest with you, because if I were to be working out on my treadmill every single day, one, you wouldn't see it in my gut, and number two, I would probably be telling you that I was working out every day on my treadmill. I probably would be. I'd be pretty proud of myself. So I'm not trying to hide anything. I've been pretty honest with the fact that it was a really depressing winter for me and I haven't done well. But number three, C, whenever I'm on, I don't owe anyone an explanation. I don't owe anyone weight loss. I don't owe any of you and I could complete like itinerary and and um, list of things that I have eaten and done to weight, lose weight. I am trying to hold my own self accountable and I don't need to stress about having other people hold me accountable. That's not going to help me at all. So please don't. I know there's only one of you who's done that recently so don't. I know you've been watching for a while and I appreciate that, but calling someone out like that when they're on a tough journey is actually not helpful. Just gonna let you know. Don't do that. I'm gonna leave the comment because I bring I appreciate the awareness of how not to treat people. I think you think that it was helpful and that you're whatever. It's not. But I'm just trying to have an open conversation about the fact that that's not help for someone who's struggling. And even if you weren't struggling, that wouldn't be helpful. Even if it was me from six months ago, that wouldn't have been helpful. Because six months ago, I wasn't telling you everything I was eating either. Because that's, as women, we get called out for everything we do. And I'm not gonna do a what I eat in a day video. I've already said that before. I will never ever do that. I don't care if I have vegetables every single meal of the day. I'm not doing those videos. I share with you some of the meals I make, but not all of them. So that's it, end of that conversation. 99.9% .9 of you here for me, I'm here for you. Wanna go on a walk together virtually, let's do it. You know, let's put our headphones in, listen to podcasts, listen to music, let's go on a walk. The spring is hopefully coming. I mean, I see some flowers on the tree ahead of me, um, but it's also cloudy and rainy and I don't wanna be outside. So, or it will rain any minute. I'm not doing my best, but I am doing my best and like, I don't owe anyone an explanation beyond that. I am trying to hold myself accountable. And I'm here at the gym. <clears throat> I'm trying. And I think that's all we can do. So give a girl a break. I know all of the rest of you don't get as much attention for the positivity. I, at least I hope you do. I hope that you see my reply as a positive confirmation that you support us, me as a woman. I know that I show that as in terms of you supporting us as a family, um, but I do see that as support to me individually as well. And I think most of you will, will concur with that, that I respond to every comment when I can to see, like make sure that you feel seen in your positivity. So I didn't want to cry with this because it's just dumb. It's dumb to bring women down when they're already down, when they're already having a hard time. Like I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Men do that because they're idiots sometimes, but why do women do that? Because we have, I don't care what you weigh, every woman has a problem with their weight. Even if you only weigh 100 pounds and you're 5'4", there's a good chance that you have a problem with your weight. So why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So it is what it is. I'm gonna go and work out and do the best I can. If I'm in the mood, I'll pick the camera back up to talk to you guys. But if not, like this just, it dampens my day and that doesn't help. That doesn't help me wanna walk in there and go for a walk for eight miles. That doesn't want, make me wanna do that. So, but I am gonna set up the girls' birthday presents later on tonight. Um, You guys all know I got the donuts. <laughs> 
I'm just trying to make some things a surprise when I can. I will get those out late tonight. I have to wake myself up because the kids stay up late. I might not be back with you tonight. We'll see. We'll see how. I'm probably going to have my spirits lifted by going for the walk. Um, and maybe my friend will be here to chat with. We'll see. <laughs> 